Hello, gorgeous people. Happy Easter Sunday. Put my uh, Easter ears on for the day today. I hope you're all feeling really, really well. I hope you've had a wonderful Easter weekend so far. Um, welcome to day 20. Can you believe it? Day 20 of isolation, motivation, with Naomi Buthaway Entertainment on this fine Easter Sunday. Now, yesterday I promised you a bit of a special Sunday spectacular and you are going to love this. Now, a gorgeous friend of mine who is an amazing uh, crafter, she does, she can make all sorts of things out of any recycled household thing, she's a painter, she is just so talented. And she has done a video today to teach us how to do some book folding. So we are going to, well, I'll let her explain, um, but I am gonna be doing it with you. So I've got my book today, um, and I'm going to complete the challenge and see what we can create. So excited. Um, so it's a nice, break from your exercise and your singing today, have a, a bit of a relax and a bit of a crafting fun, get those fingers working. Okay, so get your books ready. Without further ado, here we go. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, hello everyone. This is Crazy Cathy from the Crazy Cathy Crafting Caravan. Well, that's what it feels like anyway. Who else is going mad with this this uh, terrible time that we're in at the moment. Um, well, I've been asked if I will share some of the crafting things that I've been doing in my job previous. And some people who will see this uh, know me from Alveston. Um, but I'm going to be doing some crafts online. So I thought I would share them with you. Uh, first of all, what we uh, asked to do was to do one of my uh, little things is a little hedgehog. Okay. That's to make a little hedgehog. And guess what? We've all got something that can make this in our homes. Wherever you may be, we've all got one in the cupboard somewhere or on a shelf that you've read and you don't want to touch anymore. So what you need to do is grab yourself a book and uh, let's have a look at what we're doing. So I'm going to record this so that you can actually uh, do this and play this and do it yourself and you can pause it at any time that you need to catch up. So what do we need? We need a book. Now this, uh, forgive, forgive me Kate Atkinson because uh, I'm going to upcycle your book um and see what see what you think but we can all get one of these now it might look very difficult to do it isn't it is so 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 easy and it's really good exercise for your fingers if you've got arthritis in your fingers you don't have to worry about that because this is really good exercise for you as well as you can have something that you can give to your grandchildren or children you can give to your mum for looking after you during this dreadful time that we're finding ourselves in at the moment. So, here we go. So, you get a book as such. Sorry again, Kate Atkinson. Get a book, and with that book, you tear off the front page. Okay? Like so. <laughs> Here's one I prepared earlier. And in true Blue, Blue Peter tradition. Does anybody remember Blue Peter? Or am I a bit too old now? Anyway, so here we go. So all we do is get the book and put it like so in front of you on a surface. Okay, so just put it, let me come back a bit so you can see. Let's put it on a surface like that. Okay, so long ways in front of you. Okay, you then get the bottom right hand corner. Now it looks to you on your left I think I don't know but if you look at your right hand this is my right hand it probably looks like the left from there I don't know so this if you go to your right hand the bottom right hand corner here here okay so go to there and you're going to fold it and put it into the spine of the book and it will be like that okay so you will crease it along there okay and that's your first part all right 
You then, the next part is this bit here. You're going to fold that into the spine of the book. So it will look just like that. Okay. Now, can you already see the hedgehogs is the things there? Yeah. Can you see? There we go. That's better, isn't it? So you can see the shape's already there. So guess what? That's all you're going to do. You're literally going to do just that. So you push that away from you. You then get the next in the right hand corner up to the spine of the book. So it's like so. Then take this bit and put that into the spine of the book. And there you go. So you've now got two pages and that's all you do. So let's do it again. Bottom right hand corner, fold it into the spine of your book like so. You then take this one and also fold that into the spine of your book and you've got that. Easy isn't it? It's so easy. People are so frightened of doing these things. And, and when I've been showing people how to do these at Alveson, they're all going, wow, I thought it'd be dead hard. It's not. It's crazy. It's dead easy. So let's do it again. Bottom right-hand corner, lift up into the spine of the book. Then this page, this bit here of the page, you fold it into the spine of the book. And so you've got those that shape okay that's the shape simple really really simple to do ladies and gentlemen gentlemen do it as well all right now so you might think well how many have I got to do to get that all right so all you've got to do I know this sounds a lot but you've got to do 90 90 of these now, if it gets too difficult for you and it lies like this one does, OK, if you can see it, if it lies like that one does, then leave it at that. But it needs to sit so it doesn't wobble over. All right. So I'm just going to do a couple while I'm chatting. So bottom right hand corner into the spine, then fold it, then fold that one into the spine and you carry on. Now, this is great. You can be doing this while you're chatting, while you're watching Coronation Street, if you see it, if it's on. Well, I wonder how many weeks it's going to be before that stops. Because uh, I know there are eight weeks in advance, but goodness gracious, we shall see, eh? We shall see. Depends what our Boris says a week on the it. So, so, bottom right into the spine and then that one into the spine as well. And you just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. So, now don't, ladies and gentlemen, don't be fooled by the page numbers okay so the page numbers there you think right well i'm up to 15 now so i've got many to do but remember that there's always two numbers to every page so if you get to page 90 you've actually only done 45 yeah because there's two numbers to each page so it's better to count it or even better if it sits right on the desk then just leave it like so yeah so it's really, really, really easy to do. Um, and there are so many different ways that you can dress these. Now, I've been looking this morning to try and find um, a, a little hat for mine. Now, you can go in the works. The works have got some amazing things in there. I buy an awful lot from the works. OK, an awful lot. But also, you can go and, and, and borrow some certain items. And what do I mean by borrow some certain items? Well, when McDonald's opens again, all right, when McDonald's opens again, you can go into McDonald's and remember those little pots that they've got, like that, and they're only about that deep, where you get your sauce. Yeah, so they're, they're round like that. They're white, and they're made out of paper. Um, and you can you put your sauces in them well ladies and gentlemen all i'm saying is you could borrow a couple you could borrow a couple of those bring them home and you could paint one of them black and put it on top of your hedgehog and you could leave one in white if you've done two hedgehogs one in white and then just put a little bit of netting from a um 
from a, a fruit bag or whatever. You can write one, obviously. And then you could have a bride and groom. A bride and groom hedgehog. Now, how different would be that? Would that be if you were to put that um, as a present to one of your guests? Okay, it's all its cost you. It's a little bit of your loving time. And then some things that you've borrowed from uh, McDonald's. <laughs> um, return them when you're finished, eh? It's not a problem. Um, so, yeah, but as you can see, as I'm talking to you, I'm just carrying on doing this. Not a problem at all. It's so easy to do. So easy to do. So, and just to let you show you now, look. All right. So that is just with a few. Okay. So easy to do, ladies and gentlemen. So easy to do. Don't be afraid of having a go. I mean, let's face it. I bet you're bored of all the telly now. I bet you're bored of doing the crossword. I bet you're bored of walking your dog if you've got one. And the dog's thinking, Christ, can we have a night, night off? <laughs> um, and I, I saw something on Facebook the other day saying, um, and I, I, I saw it and it said, no wonder dogs chew furniture. Damn right. No wonder dogs chew furniture being stuck in there, stuck in the house like we have been. I think I'm going to start chewing the arm of my leg. Arm of my leg. That doesn't make sense. But you know what I mean. So so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That will turn into, if you carry on doing like that, it will turn into one of these. Here's something I did. And this is what I bought from the, the works. Um, I got three of these for a pound. And all you do is you paint or you get yeah, a black felt tip or even a biro. You could do that just to black off its nose at the end. OK, and then put some two little eyes on it. And that's it. Just put a little bit of that on or you can leave it without. You've still got a hedgehog, haven't you? Which is also very good if you wanted to do and you could use it as a letter wrap. So let me just show you. So with the book that I've just destroyed she says trying to get it so but we could do is use it as a letter rack just put your letters in there so your bills or whatever and you could put them in there christmas card how about that a christmas card holder when you get when it gets closer to christmas christ are we thinking about christmas already uh, but yeah easter cards there you go easter's like next weekend isn't it so you could do it and put your cards in it like so or your bills your letters or whatever your to-do lists whatever you want to do but you could use it as that as well so there you go ladies and gentlemen that is how it's very very simple there's no glue required nothing that's the underneath you don't need anything because it just sits on the table all right so a book a pen a felt tip pen or a biro and a little trinket or something that you can buy from the works when it opens or if you've got a hair grip that you've already got in your drawer now that you're probably never going to use again you don't know but you could use that and put it on there as well so what's the cost the cost is absolutely nothing and you've enjoyed yourselves you've given, done something else and guess what you've given your fingers a workout now if you can let me know whether you enjoyed this or not because this is what i bought i also make and i was thinking we'll do another video for that so put little hedgehog no let me tell you a quick story, ladies and gentlemen. When I was doing this at Alveston one day, we were, I gave out the books to everyone to do it. And then um, the lady looked at the book and she started reading some of it. She said, Kathy, are you aware what this says? I said, what do you mean? She said, just have a look. She said, have a look at that. She said, what's it say? And I said, oh, I said, that's a bit rude. And we worked out it was Fifty Shades of Grey, the book. Oh, my God. So what did we call her book? Horny Hedgehog. <laughs> or humping hedgehog eh how rude how rude i had another lady who said the black spots on here she said how do you put them on i think it's the words i think it's the words in the book <laughs> anyway so there's horny the hedgehog but there we go look at that that's a little fairy house okay a little fairy house and guess what? It's made out of the back end of another, the same book that I made Horny Hedgehog. OK, so if you liked what you've seen, see, I've got a little ladybird and I've got a little doorway and some flowers and little um, glittery thing and some little sparkly things on the top. But I'm going to show you how to do that on our next video. So if you want to, come and join Crazy Cathy in the Crafting Caravan. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.
Oh my gosh, how much fun was that? Isn't Kathy absolutely amazing? Thanks, Kathy, we love you. Um, so after a glorious half an hour, I have da, 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 created my little hedgehog. <laughs> Look how sassy she is. Now you may have noticed that I didn't rip the book or the bottom half of the book because um I didn't want to ruin the book. My book is actually a dictionary. <laughs> so it's a very clever hedgehog. It knows all of the words. Um, so I just thought if ever I did need to look something up, I can still use it as, as, a, uh, <laughs> as a dictionary. But look how gorgeous she is. Um, I haven't named her yet. I'll have to, I'll have to name her because she's, uh, she's going to be a very clever hedgehog. And look how amazing it works. Someone, my gorgeous friend, wrote me a lovely postcard. And I'm just going to slip that right in there. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to call her. Oh, I don't know. What, what's a clever female name beginning with H? Hmm. Actually, I'll let you guys think of that. Think of a, a female name beginning with H that sounds like you're really, really clever and uh, write it in the comments for me and let me know what I should call her. Please, 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 if you guys actually um, follow along and do this with um, one of your books, send me a picture. I would love, and I'm sure my friend Kathy, because I'll send them over to her as well, would absolutely love to see your book folding creations. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Happy Easter Sunday. Um, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow for another line dance. Keep safe. Keep happy. Keep book